<laughs> Audrey, floor is yours, sunshine. Hello, so I have kind of this obsession, and I'm going to share it with you guys. So, Koi, you might want to close your eyes. Okay. Oh <laughs> <laughs> the camera's messed up. Push source. Let it come back around. It'll re it and it'll reboot it. Okay. I love to draw clowns. <laughs> uh, whenever I'm bored at home or in class or whatever, I will just draw a clown in my agenda. I have quite a few of them. I could not tell you how many of these things I've drawn. I've got probably about 30 of them just sitting around in my house. Give them curly hair, spiky hair, whatever you want. Um, you can see right here, this year for Halloween, I carved my pumpkin into a clown. That's a pretty good one. It's pretty scary. I like it. <laughs> okay, so you know now, by now, that my name is Audrey. Uh, you probably don't know, though, that I was named after Audrey Hepburn. She was pretty famous quite some time ago. And my middle name, May, is after my grandma. Her name is Bertha May. So I was born October 20th in 1992, and I'm one of the youngest people in our senior class right now, and I'm going to graduate when I'm 17. See the top left picture is um, at my mom's house, and she lives like a mile from the school on Federal Road right by the park. And you can see down here in the bottom right, that's my dad's house, and he lives about 10 miles from the school, right on Chippewa Road in the middle of the woods. And as you can see, that two of my walls in my bedroom are actually log, because we live in a log cabin. And the other walls are normal. There's purple with like blue sponge on them. And our house is actually featured in Mount Pleasant Monthly magazine. So I'm going to pass it around and you guys can look at it. The first picture is of our house, and that's just what you would see if you were at our, standing in our driveway. Uh, and then the other picture is of a really hot <coughs> stove, and that's in our upstairs kitchen, but we don't even use that. It's basically just for guests and for show. And the other one is of our fireplace. It's got it's like really huge. It goes all the way up until our ceiling. and past another floor, so it's pretty big, and that's just in our living room upstairs, but we don't use that either anymore. Now that my mom doesn't live there, we don't even have furniture up there. <laughs> but I keep my mom, my house, my, my bedroom at my mom's room a lot more clean than I do at my dad's house, probably because I have a lot less junk there. At my dad's house, I've been living there since we moved in, and I have all these things left over from when I was a kid that I haven't wanted to go through and take care of. So you can see my room at my mom's house is pretty bright colored. I like bright colors, but my favorite color is gray, so it's kind of weird that I like bright colors so much. Okay, my family. Um, I'm pretty close to my dad. He's, that's me and him at my, right here, this is him and I at my cousin's wedding this summer. Uh, he works <coughs> at Delfield, and he's one of those parents that likes that update text every two hours. Um, over here, you can see my brother and his friends, uh, Vince and Carl. Those are his best friends. And we're pretty close, but I don't really see them that often. I told you guys about that a couple days ago. Uh, this is my mom. Her name is Lori. She used to be a bodybuilder, as you can see. These are pictures from her competition in 2002. She got second place. The other girl, she had some pretty nice biceps, not going to lie. And her abs were pretty manly. Uh, <laughs> trophies and swords. Sometimes you win swords if for first or second place at competitions. Uh, you can see this picture right here. This is Noah Barber and I. My mom is actually his surrogate mother and her best friend a long time ago. She wasn't able to have kids so she had him and that's pretty cool I think that she did that. And his mom actually was my babysitter for quite some time and that is this. Okay. Most of you know Tyler from school, obviously, but I have known him since I was born and we've been friends ever since then. We have pictures somewhere at my house where I'm laying on a blanket with him. We both have diapers and we're just a few months old and our heads are touching. So yeah, this is from our daycare. Um, we, it was either Halloween or just one of those days where we had fun dressing up. You can see my brother and I and then Katie C and then Tyler and his sister. The other people you wouldn't know, but we're, as you can see, we're still friends. That was last year at prom. So, okay. When I was a little kid, I basically didn't have that many friends at school. I didn't really care though because the main thing I really focused on was just 
going home and playing with my brother or our neighbors, which are Joey and Jala. So this was when I was two on my birthday. And that picture up there on the top left, that was when I was in the third grade. So Rachel Myers liked to call me Furby because she thought I looked like a Furby. <laughs> sometimes if everyone's around and she gives us big candy bars. Okay, so friends are a big part of my life and everyone's life. Um, my best friends are Shannon and Tyler. We hang out pretty much whenever, every Thursday, including today we're going to B-dubs, 50 Cent Bonus Wings. Friday we have movie nights at one of our houses and pretty much sometimes they stay over, whatever, it's fun. This picture is from the dodgeball tournament, intermediate chance, no big deal, and just fun to be active with friends. And so when I was in eighth grade, that's when Chan and I first became friends, and it was at basketball practice. It was completely random. She asked me if I had a hair tie, and I said, yeah, here you go. And then we ended up hanging out after practice, and we went to McDonald's and got some blow-up swords from Pirates of the Caribbean. We went swimming at her house, and ever since then, we've been best friends. And this picture up here, that's my boyfriend. His name is Andy Bryans. He's 19. He graduated from Clare High School two years ago. He is a prep cook at Las Senoritas. And actually this week, starting tomorrow, he's going to start actually being a real line cook. And we've been dating for about 15 months now. Okay, sports. I love sports a lot. I don't really see how you couldn't love sports. It keeps you active. You make friends. and. It's just a lot of fun. Um, when I was younger, I played so many sports. I used to play soccer, softball. I did cheerleading. I played basketball. I did, I did track. I actually signed up for track this year. I don't know why. I couldn't tell you. I hate running. I hate everything about it. It's not fun at all for me. But I decided to do track just to stay active. And I also am on the bowling team. This is my second year. I'm not that good, but it's really fun. Like I said, about all the other sports, it's just fun to do them, even if you're not good, just keep, keep an active. I was placed like 70th out of 90 at bowling regionals this year, so that's not very good, but it's fun. Just hit cancel. Oh. You're